two 4090s. Before you ask, this is not built for gaming. You can use this for workstation use, and that's what Shane's gonna do. He's got a PC off us a little while ago with a Ryzen 9 5950X and an RTX 3090, and that took his rendering times on Blender down from three hours to six minutes. So we saw a huge improvement in times there, and he thought it's about time, you know, the business has grown. He wants to get himself a new PC to make his rendering even quicker. And the only real thing he could do was either get a second 3090 or just get a new PC and kind of use two of them at once. So if you're using Blender and you start exporting a file or like rendering a file, you can't really use the PC at the same time because it's using all the graphics power and it's slowing down the PC. So what we've done is built him a brand new PC with the brand new Ryzen 9 7950X, which is actually a huge improvement over the 5950X. And we've managed to fit two 4090s in there. Now, if you know anything about 4090s, you know they're pretty big. But these two that we've got in here, are the MSI Supreme Liquid X graphics cards. So these are thinner on the actual card itself. You can see here, it's only a two slot, but they have two liquid coolers. There were a few hurdles we had to get over to get this PC built. So the first problem is that the 4090s in general don't fit in any case that you choose. And if they do kind of fit in the case, they don't fit on the motherboard because the space between the graphics card slots on most motherboards are uh, just, you know, either too wide so that the graphics card be touching the bottom of the case or not, not wide enough so the graphics card wouldn't even fit or if it does fit, the top graphics card is starved of air because it's trying to blow hot air down onto the second graphics card and that would overheat as well. So it's a big mess, but this works perfectly fine. So we've got two Supreme, Supreme Liquid X graphics cards in there. We've got one with the liquid cooler mounted at the front. You can see that's the bottom one here. And the top graphics card has a liquid cooler mounted to the top. So the problem is in a reasonable sized case, you can't also fit a liquid cooler for your processor. So the only real option that we had was to get a cooler which is better than most liquid coolers anyway so that is this this is a noctua and hd15 chromax black it's huge it's an air cooler of course um, and this thing is going to keep the uh, ryzen 9 7950x at very low temperatures even while he's working full blast on this pc so it's a pretty incredible computer this is going to run blender all day every day it's going to render his files much quicker than what he's already got which is already very very fast and uh, we've finished it off with some real high-end parts the whole way around so the RAM for this one is 64 gig Corsair Vengeance. Now you can't go to 128 gig reliably just yet on DDR5 and I've told Shane this. So we can upgrade to DDR5 128 gig later on if needed. But right now there's just no kits out there that reliably work at 128 gig. They, they go to lower speeds or they just crash all the time. And for the sake of reliability, we're going with 64 gig. He's only using about 30 gig anyway when he's uh, using Blender. So 64 is more than enough. So the motherboard inside this PC had to be, uh, it was a pretty specific one so that we could fit the two graphics cards and get them running at full speed. So it's an Asus ROG X670E E Wi Fi. So it's an Asus ROG, it's as good as it gets. Usually you like those motherboards because of the RGB features, but as you can see, we're going for just a black PC here. Now that motherboard allows these two graphics cards to run at full blast because a lot of motherboards are going to use uh, 16 times speed for the top graphics card and then only eight for the bottom card. So when he does his rendering, this one's not running at full speed. This one is 16 and 16, so it works perfectly fine. Now you need an X670E motherboard for that. You can't do it on an X670. It needs to be the X670E. And to power these beasts when they're running at full blast in Blender, both at the same time, we needed to get a 1600 watt EVGA uh, supernova power supply. That has a 10 year warranty on it as well. So those power supplies are more than enough for two 4090s. Running at full blast, these things can pull about 400 watts. So for just the graphics cards alone, it's 800 watts. The processor is gonna pull about 200 to 250 watts. So, you know, just over a thousand watts. To be safe, we've got the 1600 watt power supply in there just in case these uh, use even more power than we actually expect them to. That power supply is actually a bit of a weird one as well. It needs a, a bigger plug than usual ATX power supplies. It's, it's a huge power supply, but I was interested in how big the plug was for it. For storage, we've gone with two two terabyte Samsung 980 Pro SSDs. Um, running both of them in there and there's also an eight terabyte hard drive just for extra storage so just on that storage topic what a lot of people do is you use the 980 pros because they're so fast for working and then uh, when the actual finished product is done you know you drag that to your hard drive and just store it there because you know storing files you don't need fast speeds but these ssds 
will transfer the equivalent of about 10 movies per second. That's how quick these things are. So really good for working on, but you don't want to waste all that storage for uh, storing finished products. You just, you know, work on there, throw it on the hard drive and you're done. To house the whole thing, we didn't want to go too crazy on the size of the case. Now Shane's got a bit of space. He could have gone to a you know, much taller case, but I wanted to keep it like a reasonable PC size. So what we've done is gone with the EATX sized Corsair 5000D tower case. Looks nice and neat. He's not going to care too much how the PC looks, but you know, we don't want him to build any ugly PCs. It's still going to look nice and neat. So this 5000D is absolutely perfect in terms of airflow, size, or everything can breathe in there. And uh, it was perfect for us to get these two liquid coolers sitting in there and they're not too close together. And you know, it made it a lot easier to build this PC. We've still finished off the PC with these braided sleeve cables. You can see here, keeps it much, much neater. Uh, I cannot stress enough, if we had the standard 4090 cables plugged into this, it would have been an absolute mess because it's, you know, it's like an octopus. There would literally be eight cables sitting right here. Uh, it, it's just a mess. So these nice braided sleeve cables from Easy DIY Fab, which you can actually find on Amazon right now, they're perfect for the 4080s and 4090s. PC's got Windows installed and activated. It's also got Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. And as always, Shane's getting free delivery to his door with a three year warranty that includes all the courier fees. So this has to be reliable. We wanna send these out and it just keeps working for years. If you're looking for a PC and you're in Australia, just get onto the website, cataclysm.com.au, click on the 100% custom button up there in the menu, fill in the form and I'll work out a custom PC for you and your budget to do what you need to do. Hey, if you like this video, like and comment, let me know what you wanna see more of. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, it's just Cataclysm Computers everywhere. If you have any questions, just ask anytime. I would love to help you out.